The last concept in this session is going to be the average value of a continuous function. So the concept here is you've got some kind of graph that goes up and down, bounces up and down, and what we're trying to find is we're trying to find a c value to where this is going to be the average of all the different heights. So goes up, goes down, dotted line here represents the, the average value going across. So what is average? Well average you're going to add up a bunch of things, divide by the total number. In this case you're adding, you're taking a whole bunch of different heights all the way up and down and you're dividing it by what's between A and B. That's geometrically how you're going to uh, do this. So the sum of all the different heights, well that's actually just ends up being the has to do with the the integral here, definite integral between A and B. That's going to give you the base of the area uh, underneath the graph here. But then we're dividing it by the space between A and B. So geometrically, this is how you're going to find that. So by doing this, found that formula in the B minus A we can put out front there. This is going to be your average value. So you just basically do the the, the definite integral like we've been doing before. Then you just multiply it by 1 over b minus a. So now let's take a look at an example illustrating this rule. Okay, so here's an example we'll take a look at. We want to work with the average value function. Here's our original f of x. Our interval is from 0 to 1. First thing it asks us to do is graph. Okay, so when we graph this one, uh, we know that it's going to be starting from negative 1. So I'm going to actually let's draw it this way. So if I put 0 in here, I get negative 1, and that's going to end up resulting right here. Then I want to test a 1. If I put 1 in here, I get negative 3 minus 1. That gives me negative 4. So I'll put 1 over here, and I get negative 4. And I know that because it's a parabola with a negative in front of the square, I know it'll be opening down like this. So this is the only section I'm looking at because we're only talking about what's happening between 0 and 1. So that's probably the quickest way to do it is just plot, plotting some points. If you're unsure with the graph and you don't have a calculator or technology available, you can always plot a couple points to get it. We know it's opening down, so there's your graph. Next thing we're going to do is find the average value function. So let's do the formula. Average value function is 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b f of x dx. So that's the average value function. The a in this case is 0 and your b is 1. Your function is this one here, so let's put that all in. Average value of function is going to be 1 over 1 minus 0, and then we're going to go from 0 to 1, negative 3x squared minus 1 dx. So this is the setup, what it'll look like. Now this part is just going to turn into a, a 1, so I don't need that part. So basically my average value of function is just going to be this part here. It's going to be 1 times this integral. So we're going to take the antiderivative, negative 3x cubed over 3, then minus x, and then that's going to be going between 0 and 1. Okay, so I've got antiderivative, setting it up, now we'll put the numbers in. Now what I can do here is I can make do a simplifying step. The 3's I can cancel. I'm left with negative x cubed minus x, so now I'm just ready to put the numbers in. So the average value function is going to be Okay, so I have negative 1 cubed, then minus 1. And then if I put 0 in there, I'm just going to get 0 for both of those. So I don't need to show that. Negative 0 cubed minus 0 cancels out, and I get this. So when I combine all this together, I get that my average value is going to be negative 2. So that means that if I draw uh, a line here at negative 2, just like this, we see that that does actually do a pretty good job of splitting this up into, uh, you're kind of thinking of it as splitting it up into some equal areas above the line and below the line are going to be the same. So basically it's taking all those heights and finding the average right there and that's what it's doing. So this would be your final answer. The average value of this function is going to be negative 2.